This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT English punctuation question. We see here that our answer choices um, have, the same, have the same words, but they're placing commas in different places or not placing them at all. So let's look at the sentence to see if we need commas, and if so, where, where we should put those. The sentence tells us, permanent authority for the care and maintenance of the Capitol building is provided by an act of August 15th, 1876. So our entire, so our entire subject of the sentence is this whole big chunk. So permanent authority for the care and maintenance of the Capitol building is our entire subject. And we have our predicate phrase is provided by this act. So since this is our entire subject, we're not gonna wanna break it off with commas because it's not just permanent authority provided by this act, it's permanent, permanent authority for this very specific thing, which is the maintenance of the Capitol of this building. So since our subject is this whole long thing, we don't want to chunk it up with commas. We don't need to be breaking it up. So let's look for the answer choice that, that um, uses commas the best. So choice one is out because it has these commas here and here, which would make sense if the act was just providing permanent authority. But we don't want to detach this permanent authority and what it is authority for, for this um, care and maintenance of the capital. So this is not going to be any good. This one's weird because it has a comma here, so we have a comma, and then we have is. But you wouldn't want to ever put a comma between your subject and your verb, so that's wrong. This is also weird because it's breaking off this permanent authority and the authority of like what the authority is for. So this is putting a split, this comma, unnecessarily in our entire subject, which is this entire thing. So we don't want a comma here. Choice four is the best because it has no punctuation and it allows us to keep this entire subject, our really long subject, the same and not be broken off awkwardly. So choice four is correct.